On a balmy summer night in the Rocky Mountains, the show comes to you from Coors Field in downtown Denver. Tonight, it's the first of three to start the new week between the L.A. Dodgers and the Colorado Rockies. It's Rockies baseball on the show, and it comes your way next. Stepping in, Justin Turner. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. The Third baseman, number 10. And opposite field as he lines this down the line and right. And this will wind up kicking off the wall near the 350 sign. And he's going to try for three right out of the chute tonight. And he'll get there as he kicks off the ball game with a triple. So coming to the plate, Chris Second Taylor. Baseman. First opportunity Chris for him in this Taylor. one as he enters play with his average close to the 320 mark. Hey. Took a little off, and it's in for a called strike one. Harold, as we take a look at the Rockies starting play here tonight, they come in looking to turn things around as they've dropped two straight. Well, Matt, I mean, the simple way to put it, they lost Here their right. last game. This is where baseball comes the best to me, where all the cliches come in. You got to have a short term memory, and you really do. The game's over. You can't do anything about it. You got to come back today and play better and win. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Third. Digging in, Corey Seeger. Runner Corey still anchored at third base, one away now. He's set. Here it comes. And a base hit as the run will come in to score from third, and it's now a 1 0 lead for the Dodgers. But no, he puts on the brakes and will head back to first. Batting four. Stepping in, first number 35. number 35. He brings a batting average just south of 320 into this one. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. A wave and a miss, a tick behind a good fastball. He's already given up a run. He's got a runner on. He's got to put this guy away. He got him in an 0 2 count. You can't let this inning get any worse. Swing and a miss at one in the dirt. Here's Jock Peterson now. It's been a rough go for him at the plate as he enters this one with a season average in the 230s. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Soft liner towards short, and this will be taken down no problem for the final out of the inning. Here's the second baseman, DJ LeMayhew. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Second baseman, D.J. LaMahieu. Good oh, late break to the slider here, but he takes it in on the hands for ball one. Into his windup, here comes the 1-0. Oh. And that one stayed too low, apparently. 2-0 and oh count, here it comes. Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and zero. Oh. Set to follow here is Ian Desmond. From the windup, the three zero oh pitch, and this is nowhere close, and it's a four pitch walk. Stepping up to the plate, Ian Desmond. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. He's set and the pitch and he'll try to hold up on the pitch inside but to no avail and that's the first strike. From the stretch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Peterson giving chase. One down. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Batting third. Here's Charlie Blackman now. First swings for him in this one with the runner still at first and one gone. 
Now a slider and he gets ahead of him here 0 and 1. He's ready. Here's the 0 1. Ball one. Looked like he was trying to work in a front door curveball there, but it seemed like it popped out of his hand a little early, causing it to miss inside. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Swing and a miss just behind a lively fastball. He blew that fastball right by him, probably because he set him up with the off speed stuff before. Ready on 1 and 2. And here's a ball hit in the air. And that'll get down for a base hit. Here's Nolan Arenado, and he is proving to be something of a non-threat with a bat in his hands this year. The average isn't pretty. First pitch on its way, and a slider bounces, and that gets away. Throw to third, and he's going to make it up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch. Runners are at second and third with one down. Uh, needed to lay off that pitch upstairs, but it's one and one. You know, that can really be an effective pitch to a guy that has a lot of pop. They're up there looking for a fastball up in the zone, so if you can place it a little above it, they have a hard time getting the barrel up there. Ah, changed things up on him, and he got him to swing through it. One and two now. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first, and no swing. It's ball two. The 2 2 pitch. Now a swing and a ball popped in the air back behind short. Seeger takes charge out there and he stays with it for the second out. And that brings in the power hitting shortstop Trevor Story. And a quick glance at the numbers will tell you it's been a huge struggle for him at the plate this year. And this one gets away. And the runners will stay put here on ball one. He's ready. Here's the 1 0. And a whiff at a good slider that time. A 1 and 1 count. Here's the pitch. Hit hard on the ground towards second. And that is through into center field. A base hit. And the run will come in to score from third as that will knock things up at one apiece. Coming to the plate now, David Dahl. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Line toward the gap in left center. Kemp is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Now in the box, Yosmani Grandal. He'll start things out the in the top half of the second. Nine. Here Yosmani comes the first pitch. Grandal. Swing and a miss way behind the big fastball. He may have to get his eyes checked on that one because if he's looking for fastball, man, he had no chance of catching up to that. He better check his eyes. He was really late. Nope. And he lays off for ball one. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Chopped weakly to the left. Arenado takes it in. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Into the box now. Yasiel Puig hitting a little over 250 coming into action in this one. The knee buckler, and he swings and misses at it. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Drilled right back up the middle, and that'll find its way into center field for a one out hit. Digging in, Matt Kemp. First shot for him Buck here with a runner at first Matt now and one away. Kemp. Here's a look over to first, and he'll dive back in. Here's the first pitch to him. Hit down the third baseline. 
But a foul ball here, 0 and 1. Oh, one, here's the pitch. Swing and a miss out in front of a changeup. That's a good changeup. Got him to swing early in it. Now you got him set up. You can go back with the hard fastball or double it up with another changeup. On its way, the 0 2 pitch. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. That turns out to be a good take on that front door breaking ball, but you have to wonder if that pitch buckled him at all. That was really close to clipping the inside corner. Runner goes for second. Swing and a miss, strike three. The throw. And he is out at second. Caught stealing to end the inning. Here's the catcher now, Chris Iannetta. He'll start us Leading out here in the rocking. home half of the second. Catcher, Chris Iannetta. Slow little grounder, left side. To his left, Turner. And a rather easy first out. Set to get his evening at the plate started. Gerardo Parra. And it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year. Looking to get things turned around in a hurry. And he tries to hold back on the swing, but I think it would have been ruled a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. That's back to back breaking balls away but now he's got himself into a little bit of a tough spot. You probably can't throw that again so your opponent is probably up there just looking for a fastball that he can drill. There to make the play is Puig for route number two. Stepping up now Herman Marquez as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. First pitch coming here it is. And that changeup makes him jump, a swing and a miss. That's a bad approach right there. Look, you may get that pitch later in the at bat. If you're going to take a swing first pitch, it's got to be a ball you can drive. And that was not the pitch. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Settling in now, Rich Hill. Leading Nine, the one, and two do up. Pitcher number 44, Rich Hill. Not even close on that swing. No balls in a strike. Swing and a high pop up back onto the outfield grass now. Story will stay with it as he backs up and puts it away. One gone. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Justin Turner to smack the triple and later scored his first time around. Oh, missed that one by a mile. It's 0 and 1. Wow, that, that's a little bit of a surprise. You don't see too many ugly swings from him. He's having such a great year. You think he's on most things all the time. Chased a low ball there, and he's quickly down in the count 0 and 2. I mean, these guys look more like lumberjacks than professional hitters right now. They're hacking at everything. Lifted down the line in right and back out of play. Count holds it 0 and 2. Ready with another 0 2. Again, he sends it out of play. One out, nobody on. And they'll try to tempt him with a curveball, but this bounces in front of the plate, and it's 1 and 2. Hey, 0 2 pitch in the dirt. I think that was a purpose pitch. These guys are swinging at just about everything, so he's going to take a chance to see if they'll chase one even further out of the zone. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Second baseman. Ready for another chance. Chris Taylor. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Swung on and missed, outclassed by that fastball for a strike. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Tries to shave the corner with that pitch, but it's 1-1. One one. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. Swing and a miss as he's just behind the breaking ball. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first and no swing. It's ball two.
bounced softly in front of the plate. Throw to first in plenty of time and the side is retired. Digging in for his second at bat. DJ LeMahieu. No official at bat for second him but he has month. scored a run in this one. DJ LeMahieu. Sends that one out of play for strike one. The 0 and 1 delivery. 1 and 1. That's inside. Here's the 1 and 1 pitch. A swing and a miss at a ball down. The count is one and two. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And that slider is almost in the dirt. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. Ripped on the ground to first. And he is out on the tag. Digging in to try it again. Ian Desmond. 0 for 1 Ian for him here in this one. And that swung on and missed for strike one. The wind up and the 0 1. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. Bases are empty, one man out. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Soft liner toward first, but this will be taken easily at first, and there are two gone. Riding in once team. again, Charlie, Charlie Blackman. Blackman. He reached on a single in his first try. And that's inside for a ball, 1-0. Fouled straight back. Well, he got a piece of that breaking ball right there. That's the second one he's seen in a row now, and he fouled that one off. Let's see if he comes back with a third one. Three in a row. One and two now. Bases are empty here with two men out. And that one stayed up a little high. Slow roller back to the mound. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Ready now, Corey Seager. He'll go to work trying to Maybe do something about breaking this 1-1 one -one tie. Corey Seager. Now a swing, and he pops him up. Right up the chute. This may be tough behind the plate. And he'll indeed make the play in foul territory for the first down. Stepping in and ready for another shot, number 35. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Ooh, and heads up as this is pulled foul. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Grounded to short. Story brings it in. On to first, and that is two quick outs to start the fourth. Standing uh -huh. in, Jock That's Peterson kind of comes into Jock this at bat 0 for 1 Peterson. in the ballgame. And this ball's going to find the seats down the left field line. Foul strike one. The wind up and the 0 1. Goodness. 0 oh 2 now. Boy, that's an ugly swing right there. And they haven't been getting on base. They're not doing much of anything right now. And I'll tell you what, they got to figure out something to make an adjustment or this game could get ugly quick. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Here's Nolan Arenado. 0 for 1 for him here Leading in this one. The fourth inning, third baseman. Nolan Aaron Oh, and a hearty cut there to begin the at bat. It's nothing in one. 
Now that is power. You want to challenge me? I'm going to give him a big swing. That was the big swing right there. I loved it. Hot shot down the line. And it's through for a base hit. They'll have the leadoff man aboard to start the inning. Striding in, Trevor Story. He singled his last time up. Trevor Story. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And this one's in the dirt. A one pitch on its way. And a fastball there is inside as that one backed him up a bit. Well, this isn't how he wanted to start the inning. A leadoff single, and then you almost hit the next hitter. Composure. Got to try to get that ball with the plate and maybe get a ground ball. And a slider bounces, and that gets away. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Now batting. And that will bring up the speedy outfielder David Dahl. Hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Foul toward the third base dugout but this will get back into the seats out of play. Another one fouled off and he's quickly behind 0 2. Hoping to send him packing pitch on its way and a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there two away. Now batting digging in Chris Iannetta he's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. First pitch hacking here and that's the first strike. Tell you what I'm already taking inventory in the fourth inning here Matt his secondary pitch has really been effective he's used it well it's getting a lot of good results from it. I just wonder if they're going to make an adjustment as the game continues. And Ionetta can't come up with that one as he swings through it for strike two now. From the stretch. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Here's the catcher, Yasmani Grandal. He's in to get things going here in inning number five. The catcher, number nine. First pitch coming, here it is. And here's one that misses to the leadoff man in the inning. The number six hitter in the lineup, it's ball one. He still might be looking for that release point on that curveball early in this outing. That one looked like it popped out of his hand behind his ear instead of out front. We'll see if he finds that pitch because it'll be important for him. Grounded back up the middle. Story scoops it up. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Into the box, Yasiel Puig, one for one after a single this first time up. Into the windup and the pitch. Nope. And a fastball just below the knees, ball one. He's ready. Here's the 1 0. Late that time for a strike. Really feels like he's just on cruise control out there on the mound right now. Yeah, it really does, Matt, but this offense isn't helping him too much. It sort of feels like the next team to score is going to win this thing. So here's Matt now Kemp buddy. now. He's over for one thus far. Matt Kemp. to the right side and that finds some outfield grass it's a base hit Puig is on his way home and the run will score all the way from first it's now a two to one ball game stepping into the box Rich Hill comes Rich into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game and now he'll bluff a move back to second base just to make sure the runner wasn't getting any ideas out there Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. Arenado will look this one in and that's out number two. Ready for another shot now. Justin Turner. He tripled earlier making him one for two in the ball game.
Looking to keep this a one run game. The pitch turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Here's the 0 1. And there's ball one. I think he wanted that pitch right there, but you know what? He's been throwing the ball real well tonight, and he's been getting a lot of favorable calls from the umpire, too. Saw his eyes light up that time, but he swung at a bad one there. Boy, Matt, we're watching him have great success on that exploding fastball at the top of the zone. And I'm telling you right now, you can't catch up to that. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that. Now at the plate, Gerardo Parra. Leading Both for the one Rockies. for him here in this one. Right fielder, Gerardo Parra. Here it comes. Tapper up the line. That rolls foul for strike one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Here's a swing and a ground ball, but that'll get foul. It's 0 and 2 now. The windup and the 0 2 pitch. Line drive to center field. Peterson is there, and he has it for the first down. Digging in now, Herman Marquez. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. First offering on its way. Hey. The high fastball is in there. Well, he is working fast, and he wants that quick inning, just throwing a lot of strikes. Right now, 0-1. Again, I think he comes right after him and makes him swing the bat. And, boy, this at-bat is not starting off well as he's behind 0-2 now. Really tied him up on that one. Yeah, clearly didn't recognize where that was going to end up, Matt. If I were pitching, I might go right back in there. Taylor has it. And the throw pulls the first baseman off the bag, and he's safe at first. The batter number nine. Here's the second, second baseman, baseman, DJ LeMahieu. Oh, for one with a run Le scored Le thus far. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Swing and a miss on the slider. Nothing in one. Here comes the 0 1. And there's a pitch in the dirt. Ball one. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. Nope. And the changeup just missed the inside corner. Swing and a liner. But this will land foul as he didn't miss by much. He's set. Here's the 2-2. And now a slider in there for a called third strike, and there are two gone now. Now batting. Now Kirk batting, Pittman. Ian Desmond. Ian it's been an 0 for Desmond. 2 effort for him to this point. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Takes a high fastball for a strike. Ready with the nothing and one pitch. A wave and a miss, a tick behind a good fastball. You hate facing a guy with this many pitches in his repertoire, and now you go down 0 2, you have no idea what he's going to throw here. That bat's almost over. In the dirt here. Good job there as the count goes to 1 and 2. Ah, this is lined into left field for a base hit. Here's Charlie Blackman now. One for two on his line so far in the game. Laid off as it caught the inside corner. That pitch right there just locked him up. A curveball that doesn't break. A little front door curveball. You're looking for it to go back out over the plate, and it doesn't. It just locks you up as a hit. Hard hit ball to second. That's in there. Base hit. And a good throw will wind up holding that runner at third, so the bases become loaded now with two gone. 
Third base Ready line. once again, Nolan, Nolan Arenado. Arenado, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Boy, not a good swing there. That was really ugly. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. Lifted into center field. Peterson has a read on it. And that's the third out. Ready for another chance. Chris Taylor. Off the third Dodgers. trip to the plate for him here Second tonight. Baseball. 0 for 2 at this Chris point. Taylor. He's ready. Here's the first offering. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Into his windup. Here comes the one oh. Tough one to lay off. Called a strike. From the windup, the one one pitch. Now a flare out toward right center. LeMahieu retreats to the outfield grass and he has it for round number one. The batter, number five. Here's Corey Seager. He's one for two Corey in the ball game. Seager. Into the windup and the pitch. A swing and a miss at the good old Uncle Charlie. He's been doing a nice job out there on the mound, but the deeper you get into the game, the more the hitters have seen you. This is the part of the lineup that he has to be really careful with. Down and away, ball one. On they'll run this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. Oh, wow, that's what they call a jam sandwich. Wow, not much you can do with that pitch that's in tight. To first. And he'll step on first for the out, three unassisted. Now at the plate, number 35. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. And signals crossed that time, so he'll step off and try again. First pitch coming. Here it is. Swing, and he pops him up over toward foul territory. And he will indeed make the play in foul territory to retire the side. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Trevor Laying Story. He'll lead things off here in this one-run contest. Trevor Story. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. You know, when a guy starts to get tired, you often see their breaking stuff start to flatten out, but that's not the case here. Still has really nice finish on that slider, as we just saw. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. Fastball called strike three and there's the first down of the inning. Ready for another shot now. David Dahl over two on his line thus far. I tried to hold back on that pitch outside but went around for strike one. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. This is the time in the game you start thinking, hey, they might get better swings. Then you see a swing like that. Boy, he's still got it working. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Taylor's got it. Throw on to first, two gone. Here's the catcher now, Chris Ionetta. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. And the pitch. Now a fastball, a bit too low here. It's ball one. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Peterson on the run, and that's the third out. Here's Jock Peterson now. He'll lead it off here as Leading we begin inning number seven. Center fielder, Jock Peterson. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. 
Swing and a miss as he was way in front of that one. Matt, this is getting a little ridiculous. That strike right there puts him at 90% of hitters he's thrown first pitch strike to. You do that, yeah, you're going to dominate lineups. Late decision to swing that time, and as a result, it's 0 and 2. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Up next for the Dodgers. Digging in Patrick. to try it again, Young Yosemite Grandal. Grandal. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Ball hit high and foul down the left field line. It's strike one. This is swung on and lifted down the left field line, but it'll get back into the crowd as he jumps ahead of him now. 0-2. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. And now is Yasiel Puig. A couple of singles to his credit thus far. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. Oh, man. He's got a chance to strike out the side on nine pitches. Seven down, two to go. And he chased up and out of the zone, a swing and a miss. And there's number eight, one away. In the dirt, but swung on and missed. And the throw to first ends the inning. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the traditional seventh inning strike. Riding in once again, Gerardo Parra. He started out the evening 0 for right 2 so far. Gerardo Parra. Line to shortstop, and there's one away. Standing now in, Herman Marquez. Marquez. No Herman hits in two trips Marquez. to the plate for him in the ballgame. Now, time asked for and granted by the home plate umpire. Your Brendan Rodgers. Well, pinch hit here, Rockies. and he's the potential tying run. Brendan Rogers. Hit back up the middle. Played on the backhand. On to first, and there were two down. Here's the second now, baseman, D.J. LeMayhew. Over two with a walk DJ for him so far. LeMayhew. Into the windup and the pitch. That's it to short. Does he have another one, two, three inning? He does. Seven in a row he's set down now as the side is retired. Your Brian Shaw. Please been summoned now from the bullpen the as he'll do so to start the eight. So Ryan. here's Matt Kemp. Shaw. Yanked on the ground down the line. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. Ready with the 0-1. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Now Kemp awaits the 1-1. And a foul pop behind the plate. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. And another foul ball. He'll try again 1-2. Grounded up the first baseline, but this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. And now pitch on the way. Oh, and Kemp fails to connect there as this is cut on and missed for the first out of the inning. Pitcher number Chase Utley will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher. For the number 26, Chase Utley. And here's a ball hit in the air. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. The 0 1 pitch. And Utley out in front of it as this one's on the ground to his opposite number at second. Throw to first, and Utley's retired. Two gone. 
Digging in once again, Justin Turner. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. And that's in there. So perhaps some life here with two men out. So the two out hit keeps the top of the eighth inning extended. Into the box now. The Chris three. Taylor. Second no hits in three tries Chris so far. He struck Taylor. out once. Swing and a miss, 0-1. Comes set with the 0-1. Off-speed pitch, and this one runs in and nearly gets him here. He's getting a little shaky trying to close this inning out. Look, he gives up a base hit. Then he almost hits the guy right here. Got to take a deep breath, throw strikes. And he lays off for a ball, 2-1. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. Working for the punch out and the offering. Now he drops a changeup on him. Strike three called and a great pitch there to retire the side. Number 46 enters from the bullpen to do the pitching. Number Ready 46. once again, Ian Desmond. He'll see what he can do leading off the home eight. Leading off for the Rockies. First base Swing up. and a miss at a first Ian pitch changeup. Desmond. Nothing in one. Really deceptive changeup there. Very well executed. It looks like it just sort of dies when it gets close to the plate. And that's inside off the plate with the fastball. It's one and one. He's set. Here comes the one one. Now the big overhand curveball makes him swing and miss. That is a filthy combination. High 90s with the fastball and then that nasty curveball. It's almost unhittable, almost unfair to the hitter. Bottom dropped out on him and that's a strikeout. He'll throw down to first, one away. Digging in and looking for more, Charlie Blackman. Two hits in three at-bats for him in this one. From the stretch. There's a swing and a missile sent out to center field. But that'll stay in the park as it's off the wall. And there's your tying run at second base with a one out double. So stepping in, Norman Arenado. As he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. First offering on its way. Swing and a miss just behind a lively fastball. For Blackman that gives him five doubles now on the year and he gets him to swing through that one he's in control 0 and 2 Matt I really thought they were going to pitch around him here but now you got an 0 2 count he swung at a couple balls that weren't good pitches maybe you decide now well, let's be aggressive and go after him. and a good two strike pitch but he misses high one and two here's the one and two delivery He'll try to hold back, but he won't be able to as that's ruled a swing, and there are two away now. now batting, and that brings in the power shortstop. hitting shortstop Trevor Cover. Story. He was Story. sent packing on strikes in his last trip. Uh, couldn't hold up on the curveball there as he went around for strike one. Has a look, now the pitch. And one and one as this one's in on the hands. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. In the air out toward right field. On the move is Puig. And that retires the side. Here's Corey Seeger. He'll be charged with trying to leading get on board, here. leading off the. Corey Seager. Mike Dunn enters from the pen now to start the ninth the inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading Mike to the bottom of the ninth. Dunn. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. 
Smoked on the ground left side. Ah, way to get dirty. Not in time. Remarkable play just to stop that ball, but it's going to go into the books as a hit, and the leadoff man is aboard. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Number 35 is at the plate now, and he's quickly behind 0 and 1. That ball's right down the middle, and this guy's hitting in the middle of your order, and he wasn't able to hit it. That's how nasty his slider is. Here it is. You still can't hit it. Blackman has to roam straight back, but he has it for the first down. Here's John. Peterson now. Hold for three with a couple of Kike Hernandez will be summoned off the bench here as he'll pinch hit with the runner at first and one gone in the inning. Now time is called and this might be to buy a little time for that reliever to get loose. Jairo Diaz enters the game with one gone in the top of inning number nine. Diaz. That's back toward the mound. This will be a tough turn, however. And he won't even think about second as he'll flip on to first for the sure out. Here's the catcher, Yasmani Grandal. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Swing and a looper to left. And this was sinking on him at the end, but he's able to hang with it, and the inning is over. Kenley Jansen is the man called on to close this one and earn a save in the ninth. And that will bring up the speedy outfielder David Dahl. He'll lead it off against Jansen who tries to close the door in this one. Here's a slider to start things out but it misses by a few inches or so. It's ball one. Backdoor breaking ball just missed right there. It's such an effective pitch if you can hit the corner with it but no dice this time. Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball one and one. Ready with the one and one. And this is fouled back and out of play. Goes the other way with it as this is in the air down the line in left. Kemp is there and that's not the start to the bottom of the ninth this crowd was hoping for one away catcher Chris. here's the catcher now Chris Iannetta it was a fly out for him in his last trip Dom Nunez will move into the on deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning right through it here and he's behind 0 and 1 one out nobody on Swing and a miss, and he's quickly in the hole 0 and 2. This is part of what makes him one of the best pitchers in the game. He pounds strikes, and his stuff is really tough to make contact with. And when you fall behind 0 and 2, good luck. And that is swung on and missed, and now things are starting to look bleak here there. for the home nine. There oh, are two complete. away now. Ben Carlos Gonzalez will get the Number call five. to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. Couldn't resist on that one, and he's behind nothing and one. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. And there's a swing and a miss, so the Rockies find themselves down to their final strike now. Well, there's no doubt what he was thinking on those first two swings, big power swings. Now he's got to dial it back. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Well, we watched a really solid starting pitching performance, kept the opposition at bay, and as a result, he's our tops player of the game. Yeah, I thought he pitched really well. He wasn't necessarily dominant, but turned in a good, solid effort and definitely was a factor in the win here. Here now is our final line score tonight. First for the victorious Dodgers. Two runs, seven hits, with one error. They left five men on base. For the Rockies, one run on six hits. No errors. They left seven men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 33 minutes.
Tonight's paid attendance, 50,445. The Rockies thank you for joining us here tonight. And as you exit Coors Field, we remind you to please drive home safely.